Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree, and today we're taking another trip down memory lane. This one will be kind of short. It's a Back to the Future retrospective. I say kind of short compared to some of these retrospectives because you had the three films, all made in the eight, late 80s to I think the last one came out in 89 or 90. <coughs> you had the cartoon, the Saturday morning cartoon that ran for a season or two, probably 90, 91 in that ballpark. And then that's it. You had a couple of retro video games that were more or less garbage on the NES. You had a semi-recent a uh, point and click type adventure type game. Not really. Was it point and click or more of a. I guess more of like a FMV type. I don't know. Some sort of. You know. Graphic novel type. Interactive novel type game, I guess. That came out 10 years ago at this point. And maybe more. And that's it. There really isn't a lot to Back to the Future. But let's talk about it anyways. The first movie hit hard, heavy and hard, and made a ginormous splash in 1985. This was when Steven Spielberg was at the top of his game, and everything he put his name on was going to be a mega hit. Now, he wasn't quite putting his name on everything, but he might as well have been. Um, he did not make Back to the Future. I don't even know if he was involved with it any more than just putting up the funds and getting it greenlit because he was a producer or maybe executive producer. Robert Zemeckis was the one who directed it, and he's the one that often gets the credit for, you know, basically bringing it to life. Now, I'm not going to get into the backstory, the behind the scenes, all the turmoil and all that stuff. You've got the DVD. You've heard the, you've heard the, you've, got, you've listened to the commentary. You know all that stuff already. You don't need me to re rehash what you've already heard. But Back to the Future was just kind of sort of always there in my in my, in my my life. Uh, remember, I was born in 82, so by the time 85 came around, I still wasn't old enough to be really watching movies yet. Definitely not old enough to go to the theater. So I didn't really see Back to the Future until it came out on home video and... Uh, you know, television broadcasts. I do remember watching it. What felt like, this may be an exaggeration, but it felt like literally every day on TBS. It was probably only like once a week or something, but it felt like it was on every day. Back to the Future was also one of the first movies we bought on VHS because it was such a prolific movie we had to own it it was one we were gonna watch regularly even though it came on TBS I don't know at least once a week if not more we'd watch it we would if it was on we would turn the TV on we'd sit and watch it but if it was a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon and we were bored we'd pop that tape in and watch it again even if we just watched it yesterday I do not remember waiting for Back to the Future 2 to come out because it just kind of sort of happened when I was young. I think Back to the Future came out when I was like maybe five or six. So it was just sort of the big movie. But again, I wasn't going to the movies yet. But I do remember renting Back to the Future 2 on VHS. And at the end of the tape, after the credits ran, it had a sneak peek preview of Back to the Future 3 with the coming soon, uh, you know, after the, after the to be continued bit. And so I do remember getting hyped and excited for Back to the Future 3. Again, I was still pretty young when it came out in theater, so I didn't get to go see it in the theater, but I did rent it early on in its VHS um, offerings. And so I remember watching, once Once we got the trilogy, the individual cassettes, we had all three films, we could watch them back to back, we would do that. Like, it would be Saturday morning, after the Saturday morning cartoons ran their course, we just popped in Back to the Future, let it play, 
As soon as it was done, we popped in part two, let it play. As soon as it was done, we popped in part three and we let it play. Me and my sisters and my mom, we were all obsessed with Back to the Future. We watched it so fucking much. It was one of the first DVDs I got. The, the trilogy, when it came out on DVD, I got the box set. My stupid cat just knocked my thing down. Damn it. And it was also one of the very first box sets I got on Blu-ray. Um, oddly enough, Back to the Future does not. It, either, either the original or the trilogy as a whole. Does it pop up on streaming services? Hardly at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's never been streaming. I'm not 100%. I've never seen it on Netflix. I've never seen it on HBO or anywhere else. And even when I had Peacock, I don't remember seeing it on Peacock. Which is kind of strange. You know, when you think about it. Now again, I don't currently have Peacock or Netflix, so I don't know... If it maybe it has been a regular staple of either one of those services um, in recent times. I just know that when I had streaming services and when I when I was streaming, I had all the streaming services because my mom paid for three of them and I paid for Netflix. And I got two of them included with my cell phone bill. So I had all the streaming services for a good year and a half. Um, and then they just sort of started going away as I couldn't pay for them anymore. But I never remember seeing Back to the Future on any of the streaming services. I'm not saying it's not available. I don't even know if you can go to Amazon and buy it digitally. Or iTunes or what is it? Apple TV or whatever. I don't know. Which seems kind of strange to me. So maybe it is and I just don't know. Uh, if it is, let me know. Do you have it on digital? Does it exist on digital? Is it streaming on Peacock? Has it always been on Peacock? And I just missed it? I don't know. Now, I'm also fairly certain... We'll talk about the cartoon for, for briefly. I'm fairly certain the cartoon has not been released on Blu-ray, possibly not even DVD, and I don't think it's been on streaming either. It's been more or less forgotten. I remember zero about the cartoon. I remember watching it because, you know, when I was a kid and we didn't have cable, we had the three channels... We watched whatever the fuck came on TV, and that was one of the shows that came on TV, so it was like, yeah, okay, it was on. But it wasn't one that I sat down and paid attention to, like Transformers or Ninja Turtles. It was one that was just, it was on playing in the background, and I was sitting on the floor playing with my toys. While it would be playing in the background. I maybe remember flashing images from it, you know, but I couldn't tell you what was the premise, who were the characters, what was happening... None of that. So, it seems to me, with our, especially Hollywood, and our culture's incessant obsession with reliving the 80s, why hasn't Back to the Future been brought up more often? Why hasn't it been remade or given legacy sequels? Why don't we have a made-for-streaming, you know, 13 episode television series on Peacock or Disney Plus or Netflix or something like that. Or a modern day animated reimagining or something like that. I don't know. These are weird questions. It, it was such a ginormous, huge franchise. And then it just disappeared. I mean, it's still out there in the ether. It's probably still running daily on TNT, TBS or whatever channel it was, for all I know. Uh, it's probably, it's got to be streaming somewhere, I would imagine. I know you can still buy it on Blu-ray, or at least you should. I can't imagine it being out of print. Maybe you can still get it on DVD, I don't know. Back to the Future was one of those movies that, me personally, I watched it too much. I watched it so, so much. I became oversaturated with it. The last time I sat down to watch it was a good three or four years ago. And I couldn't, I turned it off after like, I didn't even get to the electric guitar blowing up the speaker scene at, at the very beginning of the movie. 
he was still like the clocks were still ticking and I was like you know what I've seen this I've seen it I don't need to see it again I've seen it too many times yeah I love I personally love Back to the Future but it was one of those movies I just overwatched and I don't know if I'm alone in that I kind of feel like a lot of people probably feel that way like they loved it 20 30 years ago but now they're just like I don't know maybe once a month once a year every three years once a decade I don't know how often do people watch it um, the other question I have is, are young people rediscovering or discovering Back to the Future? Is it one that comes up in the young people's lists? Is it one that they would understand because the cultural references and the, 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 the things that it's satirizing and it's referencing really don't apply today? Like, at all. Like, he, in 1985, he goes back in time to 1955 and they're giving him shit for wearing a, a a vest, which they call a life jacket. It was just a vest. People don't wear vests these days. Kids are going to be confused. They're not going to understand that. There was the whole bit about he wanted a Pepsi Free. And they said, you got to pay for it. And they said, give me a tab. Pepsi Free doesn't exist anymore. Tab doesn't really exist anymore. Kids today aren't going to get those references. Hell, I barely got those references when I was a kid. What about the, the thing about him playing that baby's toy with his hands? Kids definitely, they probably know what an NES is and they're familiar with a light gun. They've probably never actually touched one because they don't have a CRT in their house. So that's another, that's another thing that's kind of foreign to them. An arcade machine that isn't Minecraft? They, they probably don't know what that is. They don't know what to make of it. Arcade machines are supposed to spit out tickets, not eat your quarters. Kids today wouldn't understand that. And then there's the bit where he says, we have two TVs, and they're making fun of him for having two TVs. Like, wow, you must be rich. Today, households have dozens of screens. Maybe maybe they do only have one technically true television set. But they've got tablets and cell phones and laptops and Chromebooks and everything else. So kids today would be like, what's the big deal about having multiple TVs? We've got 27 screens in our house. Everybody's got their own phone and tablet and everything else. You know what I mean? So it's like, would, would kids today even understand the humor of Back to the Future? Would they even get the references? I mean, the 50s were pretty far removed from the 80s at the time. They're way far removed from today. Would they even know what a greaser is? Would they understand the reference about the, the rock and roll song at the end of the movie when he's playing Johnny B. Good? Would they even know would they even know that song? Would they even know Um Huey Lewis in the News? He's he's an old fogies band. I I just don't know if Back to the Future has staying power because I just don't know how easy it is for kids today to pick up and understand I just feel like it might be way too foreign to them on top of the fact that they were actually alive in 2015 and they'll be watching that part two and they're like uh this was nothing like 2015 and what the hell is a Jaws you know what I mean I just I, I loved Back to the Future back in the day, but I really do question its staying power in pop culture. It was a phenomenon back in the day, all the way through the 80s, the 90s, into the early 2000s. But I kind of feel like as big as it was, and even still is to people who were alive in the 80s, I don't really feel like it has staying power today. I never see it pop up on YouTube channels, ever. I, I never see anybody talking about it. When they talk about their favorite movies, or especially the younger YouTubers. <coughs> I never see Back to the Future mentioned at all. The only time I ever hear anybody talk about it is in the context of, should it be remade, or it should never be remade because it's too holy, or if it was remade, how would that work? And that's the only context I ever hear anybody talk about Back to the Future today. 
Because I think people do recognize it is hella dated by today's standards. There are a lot of 80s movies that are relics of the time, but culturally they're still relevant today. The Breakfast Club, if you take away their clothes and the music, what they're going through is relevant today. But Back to the Future? It hinges on at the time pop culture references that are extremely outdated today. The whole part about him going to the phone book to look up Doc Brown's address. Is a kid going to understand what that means? Or are they going to know anything about Libyan terrorists? Do they even understand what why Libya had terrorists back in the day? What that what that means? They might know what plutonium is, I guess, if they watch Marvel movies. But, like, is that enough? I don't know. I don't have kids. I'm 42 years old. I don't live with children. I don't interact with young people. I just do know I don't see it on streaming services very often. Or at least I don't remember seeing it. And I don't see people talking about it who are younger than my generation. Yeah, I see people my age talk about it all the time. It usually pops up in top lists of greatest films of the 80s. Which it should, if you were alive in the 80s, to experience it when it was culturally relevant. But if a kid today was trying to experience movies from the 80s, I think a lot of them are kind of timeless, even though they're sort of relics of their time. They have themes that are relevant, even though they may have outdated references. I don't really know how relevant uh, going back in time to make out with your mother is. Not to mention the fact that the time travel theories presented in that film have either been debunked in modern science fiction or they may be mentioned in passing reference, but they're usually like, um, they have different rules in their modern day time travel than what Back to the Future had. I don't know. Maybe I'm just blowing smoke. <laughs> Stay cool.